What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Tom Designs here and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to create this retro Macintosh as a flat design in Illustrator. Create a 1920 by 1080 canvas in Illustrator and drag in your reference image. Turn your layer into a template. Create another layer and name it Outline. For the outline, we will use a black stroke with rounded caps and corners. Using the rectangle tool, start the outline of the Mac computer. Make sure to round off the corners with the direct selection tool. Let's duplicate the rectangles using the offset path. If you're new to the channel and you're interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials, then please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you never miss my future uploads. Make the inner rectangle thinner and adjust it with the direct selection tool. Let's now create the screen using more rectangles. Curve the top and the bottom of the screen using the bulge effect and round off the corners. With the pen tool, write the word hello with a cursive font. I'll be using Pacifico. With more rectangles, let's draw the CD-ROM slot. I'll be combining shapes with the Unite function in the Pathfinder panel. Let's draw the bottom part of the computer. To separate overlapping shapes, activate the Shape Builder tool. Select both shapes and click on the gray area. This will create a new shape and you can delete this overlapping part right over here. Now create some gaps on this shape. Activate the pen tool and click three times on the line to create anchor points. And then delete the middle point to create a space. Now we will taper in these strokes to make the illustration look more interesting. Activate the width tool. Click and drag on the lines to vary the thicknesses, like so. Next up, we will recreate the vintage Apple logo. I'll drag in a black image of the logo on the canvas and image trace it.
I will then bring in the colored version on the canvas and position the rectangles to match the reference. Using the eyedropper tool, I'll click to match the colors. Once we have our color set, place it on top of the black logo we just created and activate the shape builder. Hold Option or Alt on your keyboard to delete the outer shapes. Once we're done, let's place the logo on the bottom left of the Mac. So we're done the outline, so let's add the colors. For starters, create a new layer below the outline layer and name it color. We will then select these closed shapes, go back to the layer panel, and by holding Option on my keyboard, I will copy down these shapes to the color layer. All you have to do now is remove the stroke and give the Mac a light beige color. Follow the same steps for the screen, except this time we will add a blue gradient. Let's now add some shadows and highlights. Firstly, select the shapes around the screen, the Apple logo, and the CD-ROM slot. Remove the stroke and add a darker beige to create the shadows. Instead of copying, just drag down these shapes to the color layer. And make sure to send these shapes to the back. Another way we can add shadows and highlights easily is by selecting, for example, the main shape and doing a copy and paste in front twice, creating three shapes superimposed on each other. Follow that up by selecting the top shape and moving it up while creating this gap. We will then select the two top shapes and activate the shape builder. And while holding Option on your keyboard, delete these unwanted shapes. Let's then give our new shape a darker beige, thus creating the shadow. I'll be doing the same for the highlight at the top of the screen. To finalize and add more detail, using some ovals, I will add some extra highlights and shadows. So we're done creating the computer. Now following the same steps, I will create the keyboard and mouse. For this, I decided to not use the reference image and just improvise what I think it would look like from a front perspective. I will speed up the rest of the video and see you with the final product.
And there you have it everyone. This is how you can draw a vintage Apple Macintosh computer as a flat design in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please smash that like button, it would be greatly appreciated. I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers everyone.